What's up everybody, it is Dan Cam, you know, and I am back with another video. And today what we're gonna be looking at is MSI Afterburner, a must have program in my opinion. So let's get it in the video and see what it's all about. So we are now taking a look at my desktop. And the first thing I wanna go through is when you go to MSI's website to download Afterburner, it is also going to prompt you to, to install Riva Tuner Statistics Server. And in order to get the on-screen display up here that looks like this guy down here, you're going to want this program. So make sure you download both when you go to the website. So taking a look at MSI Afterburner, you're basically going to see all my GPU vitals going on right now. And then you can see down here, once I scroll up, that these are the customized vitals that I have chosen to see on my main screen. So then that's going to be GPU temperature, CPU temperature, fan speed, and frame rate. And once this is set up here, I always like to see what kind of frame rates I'm getting while gaming. So let's go ahead and get into the settings for Afterburner. So go ahead and click this button down here, settings. And I don't really change anything in the general tab. Just make sure you click start with Windows because I like to, mine to run at all times. So I have start with Windows selected and make sure any settings you do change, you click apply when you're done. So the first header I want to get into is going to be fan. And this is where you're going to set your custom fan curve. You're gonna wanna make sure this is clicked in. So click that and it's gonna bring this up and you can see that when my CPU temperature is at 40 degrees Celsius, my fan speed is at 30. So basically any time, any temperature up to 40, my fan speed is going to be 30%. And then it's going to creep up. Once you get closer to 60 degrees Celsius, it will be at 40%. And then mine, the highest usually gets is around 70. So I have mine set to 45 right now. Oops. I just, grabbed it and that's basically all you're gonna do is just grab the part and just drag it to where you want it so I want mine set at 40 and 30 for now and then you can see if my computer really overheats I have these going up to 70 percent so you just make sure you have this checked in and keep in mind when you do first check this in the stock values that MSI ha Afterburner has are very high, so you might hear your fans kick on very loudly. So just be aware of that. And then you can also, let's see, yeah, you can change some more settings down here that I don't really mess with. And then the next one I wanna get into, into is going to be monitoring. And this is where you can display exactly what vitals you want to see. And I like this because you, you can see it while you're in game. So, and the way to do this is, so these four are already selected. So let's do one I do not have selected. So let's see if we want to see memory temperature. We're going to go ahead and click it, hit the checkbox. So all these properties come up. And then what you're going to want to do is click show in on-screen display. So now what this is going to do, is going to show these five up here while I'm in game. And I'm going to go ahead and cut away to what it's going to look like right now. All right. So taking a look at this again, I want to go ahead and uncheck this because I do not want this. I do not need to see my memory temperature. Let's go ahead and click apply. So yeah, I usually always have these four um, up here at all times while in game. I feel those are the most important, but there are some other good ones as well. You can see your GPU usage, memory usage, which actually would be pretty important as well to take a look at. Some people like to have all of these on there. It's up to you. Now a way to edit how it looks up in the top left, that's where Riva Tuner Statistics Server is gonna come in. And then you can change, right now I like mine like this, I feel this is the cleanest. But you can click this, and this is exactly how it's gonna look down here. So I like Roster 3D. And then you can also zoom in so it's very large, or I like mine just um, barely noticeable in the top left. 
and there's a whole bunch of settings for this as well, but those are mainly the ones I use zooming in and, uh, you know, exactly how it looks up here. And I believe you can change the colors as well. I like the white background. So yeah, I think that about does it for what I wanted to show you in MSI Afterburner. There are some more tabs up here, but I don't use any of these. Um, screen capture and video capture, I use OBS for screen captures, which is free, which I might go over in a different video. One thing I did forget to mention is if you head over here to user interface, if you go ahead and click down here, you can change the skin for how MSI Afterburner looks. So if we click this one, this looks a little bit old school. Actually, it's actually may not be too bad, but there is a ton of different ones you could change. And they all look pretty cool. I don't actually look at mine too often because it's just minimized in the background, but you can change the skin if you'd like. So that concludes my brief tutorial on how to use MSI Afterburner, adjusting fan curve and getting your on-screen display how you want it. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment down below. And if you are new or would like to see more content, please feel free to subscribe and like the video. Or if you disliked it, you can go ahead and do that as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in another video.